Hi everyone. In this demo, we are going to present an example how to use Databricks Lakehouse to implement end-to-end -end data engineering and machine learning pipeline when dealing with advertising real-time bidding and impression level data. To kick things off, let's firstly look at a quick overview of Databricks Lakehouse. In case you aren't familiar with Lakehouse, it is a new data management paradigm, and it combines the capabilities of both data lake and data warehousing architectures. So this diagram is conceptual representative of what Databricks Lakehouse platform offers. It is built on an open source data lake with world-class security, data management, and governance layers. It unifies the implementation of say any big data use cases from basic BI um, to data engineering ETL pipeline and to machine learning and AI. So um, when it comes to media and ad tech industry, companies often face some common challenges um, when it comes to build, building data pipeline and deriving value from the data. So today, let's look at a simple example how Databricks Lakehouse can help address those challenges in the media and ad tech space. So the business context of our task here is an RTB demand side platform, we call it in short DSP, has a petabytes a bitstream bit request data today. They would like to build a pipeline that automatically ingest the data to Cloud Data Lake. Um, the data team is also really eager to, um, to simplify the raw data transformation and pipelining in the optimized, I would say, performant fashion, especially when dealing with complex um, nested JSON file. Nest, nested JSON file with many, many deep layers are very common in advertising industry. So Databricks Delta Engine with native JSON reader and Delta Life Table component are great tools for building a full managed, this really smart data pipeline. And we are going to cover that today. Also after data ETL, we then move to downstream analytics and data science work. We can query the Delta Lake using Databricks SQL and the data science team can seamlessly extract the useful information from the Delta table, the Delta Lake table that we built, perform say feature engineering and further apply custom logic to transform the data. And then we use actually boost to train a machine learning model to predict the viewability, meaning we like to predict the likelihood of whether or not seeing an ads on page fully in view. It's normally measured by some third party verification companies, um, for example, Moat or Double Verify. And the company can stitch the um, verification label back to the training data to verify the model, um, to validate the model, okay? So that's the business context. And let's look at the um, step one. The step one is to ingest the real-time getting data to the Delta Lake. The data we use today are um, samples of JSON data from OpenRTV Bitstream. JSON object, uh, objects is just one example of data source format. So besides those, the same structure, and structure data set, you can certainly apply this type of pipeline to other unstructured, say text and audio data or video data in just to the Delta Lake. So as a step one, we will use Databricks Autoloader to um, ingest our raw JSON objects into Delta Lake. Firstly, we create DLT, um, RTB DLT bits bronze table by pointing to a DBFS path, which is basically the mount point over an S3 cloud storage. 
So by specifying the format as a cloud file, we seamlessly leverage Databricks Autoloader to simplify the ingestion. Autoloader has smart schema inference, the schema evolution, so that we are able to say scale the ingestion to millions of incoming files automatically. Okay. Um, note that there is this decorator here. What does it mean? The add DLT ta table decorator to this function is to define a DLT delta life table in Python. Delta life table is a new Databricks component for quickly building managed reliable data pipeline. So essentially you define a series of transformation using this type of syntax to perform on your data and the Delta life table pipeline manages a task orchestration, data quality control and error handling through the entire pipeline to simplify the data engineering efforts. After we run this, a table called RTB DLT bits bronze is created and it, it, it takes in a JSON file from the path that we specify in DBFS as the input source. Okay, so um, here, the JSON item we in, we're interested, let me scroll to the right, is device. So most likely in attack, the adjacent objects we're dealing with, like I said, have a four to or five levels of depth. So which um, should be handled performantly and cleanly. So the step two here is to efficiently parse nested JSON. And we want to create silver delta tables without necessarily a very complex full-fledged exploding or flattening the entire JSON object, okay? Um, what we're doing here is we use a function to encapsulate the JSON field extraction and very similar to the step one, very similar to the to step one, um, we apply the at DLT table decorator to this DL, uh, RTB DLT bits device silver. That is to create a delta life table that takes in the bits bronze that we created from the first step as input. One cool thing to call out is since we read this bronze table as a string and the bronze table itself was ingested by the autoloader which is a structure streaming under the hood. This silver table is also updated incrementally as the new files arrive to the source. Of course, you are welcome to apply more complex custom logic here in this function to make it a full-fledged um, feature engineering and the DLT will maintain the transformation as part of the pipeline for you. So after we run this, here you can see the um, silver table is clean and structured and um, extracted the ideal um, device components and attributes for us. Then repeat the same te technique to create two more uh, silver tables. That is RTB DLT bits impression silver. as well as the site silver table, so that we have three silver tables together um, from device, from the site, as well as um, from the impression, so that we can form the final um, go table using all these information. And step three now is to create go table. Those are three silver table will be the reliable data sources for the, our downstream data science work. Um, then as a step three, we want to create one gold table to as a single source of truth containing all the information that we need to build the machine learning model. So here it's really cool that you can just apply a simple SQL in, uh, syntax 
we join three silver table together to form the the RTB DLT bit gold table. So one great advantage of defining gold table as part of the Delta Lab table pipeline is later you can um, configure change data capture CDC to update the table based on changes in the source data. So DLT is able to reflect the change on a downstream table or materialized views. That's a very smart feature to have. So by now, our DLT pipelines is now completed. And let's take a look how it looks like the graph. So this deck is basically showing, starting with the bits of bronze table, that is our source data. And then in the middle, we have three silver tables that derive from the bronze table. And then at the end, we have one gold table that de dependent on the three silver table. And we're going to use this bits gold table to, be, to, to for our downstream machine learning task. 